All right, you all, let's do number 10. As always, we have our rule strategies. All right, so let's highlight the specific question or underline. $1,900 at 5.9% simple interest for 4.25 years, okay? All right, there we go. Okay, so we got $1,900, 5.9%, simple interest for 4.25 years, okay? So remember, the simple interest tells us the interest equals the principal times the rate times the time. That's our principal amount. That's our rate. It's our time. So let's draw an arrow out here. 5.9 divided by 100. Okay. Move the decimal one, two spaces towards the left. So we're going to have 0 0.059 is going to be our decimal amount. We're going to multiply this by 1,900. All right. We read the word problem. We underlined the question. We labeled and annotated. So now let's do 1900 multiplied by 0 0.059. Nine times zero is zero, nine times zero is zero, nine times nine. Those are, those are numbers, nine squared is 81. Carry the eight, nine times one is nine, plus eight is 17. Okay, put a zero in the thousands place, all right? Five times zero is zero. Five times zero again is zero. Nine times five is 45. Carry the four, okay? Five times one is five plus four is gonna be nine, all right? Now we're gonna have um, a zero for the thousands place, a zero for the hundredths place, and a zero times all four of these numbers is gonna just be zero, okay? I usually don't need to add those zeros, but in this case, I'll just show you all what it's gonna be like. Zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus zero is zero. One plus zero is one. Seven plus five is 12. Carry the one. One plus nine is 10. Plus one is 11. How many numbers do you have to the right of the decimal place? We have one, two, three numbers to the right of the decimal place. So we move our decimal towards the left. One, two, three spaces towards the left. We have $112.10. We gotta multiply this by the 4.25 uh, years, okay? So I'll do that right over here. I'll do that, um, okay, one, one, two, one, zero. It's gonna be $112.10 multiply by 4.25 let's multiply this out five times zero is zero five times one is five five times two is ten five times one is five plus one is six five times one is five put a zero there for the hundredth place go to the tenth place two times zero is Two is zero, sorry, two times zero is zero. Two times one is two. Two times two is four. Two times one is two. Two times one is two. Put a zero for the um the hundredth place. Put a zero for the uh tenths place. Now go to the ones place. Four times zero is zero. Four times one is four. Oh, let me scroll up a little bit so I can see this. Um, so I did um, four times zero being zero, add a zero for the the uh, tenth place and the hundredth place. Four times zero is zero. Four times one is four. Four times two is eight. Um, four times one is four. Four times one again is four. Let's add these up. 
0 plus 0 is 0, 5 plus the zeros is 5, 0 plus 2 is 2, 6 plus 4 plus 4 is 14, carry the 1, 5 plus 2 is 7, plus 8 is 15, plus 1 is 16, carry the 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 4 is 7, we have a 4 there, okay? Now, how many numbers do you have to derive the decimal place? We have 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're going to have a total of four numbers, okay? These two and these two are four. So we move our decimal towards the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? So the total interest is going to be $476, okay? And 43 cents. Okay, because four hundred sixty dollars and forty three cents. This five rounds the two up. Now the the total interest or the total amount is going to be four hundred seventy six dollars and forty three cents plus the one thousand nine hundred principal that we had. Okay, so let's let's find that right here. Off to the side, we'll do one nine zero zero one thousand nine hundred plus. $476.43. So let's add these up. 3, 4, 6, 7. 9 plus 4 is 13. All right. $2,376.46. $2,376. And 43 cents okay so we got our interest and then we have our total amount okay and remember y'all the total amount equals the principal plus the interest all right the total amount is the principal plus the interest all right the principal was 1900 or 1900 we added the interest, $476.43 plus 1900 We got $2,376.43, all right? So we evaluated showing our math, okay? We evaluated showing our math, our multiplication, and then we added, we added to figure out what the total amount was to solve our problem, all right? Hope this video helps. I will see y'all in the next video. Thank y'all very much for watching and work on M12 and IXL to get additional practice on simple interest. All right, I'll see y'all in class tomorrow.